Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, and I want to thank all of you for uh, joining us today. Uh, I'm Phil Kirshner. I'm president of the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Uh, today, I will be presenting the results of our 55th Annual Business Outlook Survey for 2014. The online survey was emailed in September to a random sample of the association's 21,000 different member companies, and we received nearly 1,200 responses. The results of this year's survey are better than they were last year and indicate continued improvement in our state's economy. In fact, four years since the depths of the recession, business confidence appears to be bouncing back to levels not seen in a number of years. Take sales, for instance. The state sales outlook has brightened for the fourth year in a row. 57% of those surveyed said they expect the dollar value of their sales to increase in 2014, while only 15% said they expect sales to decline. This net positive of 42% is a dramatic increase from the 9% net positive four years ago. And this is what we like to see, these arrows going up and up and up. The um, actual sales continued on the upswing, with sales increasing for 47% of companies, while sales declined for 31%. The net positive is 16%, is up from 6% last year, and well above the negative of minus 54% for actual sales just four years ago. Actual profitability and the profit outlook for 2014 both continue to improve. 52% of companies said they expect profits to rise and 18% expect a decline. This net positive of 34% is up from 23% last year and the highest level of profit expectations in the last five years. Although the profit outlook is positive, actual profitability is still challenging for many, many businesses. 40% reported increased profits in 2013, while 37% said profits declined. Now this is a net positive of 3%, and it's the first positive number in five years and well above the low of minus 54% in 2009. Now as the economy improves, improves, so does the willingness of companies to increase spending for their own businesses. 47% believe they will spend more on purchases in 2014, while only 17% say they will spend less. A net positive of 30% and the highest number in 13 years. Our survey also indicates a brighter employment outlook for 2014. 26% of companies anticipate hiring additional employees next year, while 9% say they will reduce their workforce. This net positive of 17% is up from 8% last year. There's also greater optimism about the state's economy. 35% said they expect the state economy to improve during the first six months of next year, while 17% expect it to get worse. That net positive of 18% is the highest level in the last 16 years. And our members' perception of the U.S. economy is also improving as 36% believe the nation's economy will be better next year, only 19% only believe it will be worse. And also improving is our members' outlook for their own industries. The net percentage of companies expecting conditions to improve is 18%, well above the plus 3% of last year, and again, the most positive outlook in the last nine years. The outlook for virtually all major industries in the state have reached the most positive level since our 2009 survey. The biggest improvement, and I think this is very important, came in the commercial and residential construction industries. The outlook in housing construction was the most positive it has been in the last five years with a plus 25%. 
The outlook in commercial construction is even more optimistic with a plus 28%. And uh, I've talked with many of you and you know, I, we don't believe that you can have a full recovery without a uh, construction industry, both residential and commercial, starting to bounce back. And we are starting to see that now. And I think the same holds true with durable manufacturing. And they, the positive outlook for manufacturing of durables is also up 25% and 16% in non-durables. The outlook is also positive and improved in finance, insurance, real estate, transportation, and the wholesale industries. Now, as far as challenges business face, health insurance costs were identified as the top challenge. The second rank challenge was the overall cost of doing business in New Jersey. And the third rank challenge was property taxes. Now, health insurance has been such an important issue for our members that we added a couple of questions this year specifically about health care. We found that 80% of those surveyed expected the cost of employee health benefits to rise in 2014. And of those, almost half, 46%, said they expected employee health benefit costs to rise by 11% or more, vastly outstripping the rate of inflation. When asked about the Affordable Care Act, 60% said they expected the impact to be negative. 16% expected no impact. And 6% thought the impact would be positive. A very, very high 18% said they did not know how the law would affect them. In terms of rating our top government leader, our members gave Governor Christie high marks for the fourth year in a row. 75% said the governor was doing a good to excellent job, and that was up from 73% in last year's survey. Also encouraging was that the state also received improved marks as a good place for business expansion. 25% said the state was good or very good as a place for business expansion, up from 22% in last year's survey. Another 53% said the state was fair or average. But only 22% said the state was poor as a business expansion site. And that is down from a high of 52%, one in every two businesses at that time, just four years ago. Now, standing jump in just four years. New Jersey also fared well when compared with other states. A majority of our survey participants said the state is the same or better now than other states in the quality of its public schools the quality of its workforce, protecting the environment uh, as a place to live, promoting economic development, controlling energy costs, and I think very important, and this was not in previous surveys, and its attitude towards business. So overall, there is clearly more optimism among our member businesses than there was last year, and the economy is trending upward as we continue to recover from the recession. Overall, steady growth continues to be forecast. And I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. So uh, on the uh, 